Are there any other cognitive biases that writers exploit? Yeah, so um, one obvious one is the peak end bias, which Kahneman talks about. So that's the, that's the phenomenon where if you're thinking about an experience that lasted for a certain length of time, let's say you went to Paris for a week, and somebody asks you, how was Paris? You're very likely, you know, if you want to give like a one word answer, it was great. It was Paris, of course it was great. But, um, you know, you're going to be more influenced by uh, the experience at its peak and the experience at its end. So whatever the last thing was you did in Paris, and then whatever was either the greatest thing or the most horrible thing that happened in Paris. That affects our reading of literature too. It makes endings unusually important, right? Uh, a great ending can almost save a medio mediocre work of art and a terrible ending can ruin what was otherwise a great work of art. So that's one. Another one which Vera Tobin has talked about, which is this brilliant theory about this thing called the curse of knowledge. And the curse of knowledge is basically this phenomenon where once you know something, it becomes more difficult for you to imagine not knowing it. And it even applies to yourself of five minutes ago. So when, when you're watching a quiz show and they, they give the answer, you think, oh, I should have known that, because now you know it. Um, and so Vera Tobin says this is one of the ways in which twists work in, in literature and in movies, that um, you want the reader or viewer to, to have this experience of, of course it was Jimmy. Ah, of course it was Jimmy. I should have known all along. But you don't want people to figure out it was Jimmy after five minutes. And that's a difficult thing to pull off as a, as a writer or a screenwriter. So Tobin says, well, look, you exploit the curse of knowledge. You drop a few breadcrumbs <laughs> around where, you know, it could be Jimmy. And by the time you get to the end, you reveal it's Jimmy. Because of the curse of knowledge, the viewer is going to say, oh. That's such a satisfying, of course it was Jimmy. So these are a couple more of these little quirks of our cognitive apparatus that writers can exploit to, to delight and challenge and, and, and push us, not just out of our comfort zone.